Need to install a Zergo device with a powered Y cable using a 6 or 9 pin port? Here's how. This installation has a skill level rating of intermediate. This means you may need to remove dash panels to complete the install. The installation should take approximately 20 to 40 minutes. We'll show you how to prepare, connect, mount, tidy up, and assign the device to the vehicle. Let's start with the preparation. You should have the following. A Zergo device, a powered Y cable for six or nine pin ports, and an adapter for the Zergo device. Check the cable's bag label to verify it is a powered Y cable. The Y cable connects the Zergo device to the vehicle through its six or nine pin data link port. The cable has a replacement port so you can access the vehicle data. Depending on your vehicle type, you may need the following things. Zip ties, a socket set, a wire cutter, and dash removal tools. Make note of the device serial number on the top of the device for use later in the installation. Before you install the Zergo tracking device, move your vehicle to a location with good network coverage. Now, let's connect the tracker to the vehicle. Locate the vehicle's six or nine pin data link port. You may need to remove dash panels to access it. The location, color, number of pins, and mounting method will depend on the vehicle type. First, the vehicle's six or nine pin port must be unmounted for correct and safe installation. Then mount the Y cable's replacement port. Now securely connect the Y cable to the vehicle's original six or nine pin port. Connect the Zergo adapter to the Y cable. And finally, connect the Zergo adapter to the Zergo device. Check the LEDs to confirm the Zergo device is receiving power. You may need to turn on the ignition. Let's see how to mount the Zergo device. When routing the Y cable, avoid sharp objects or sources of high heat. For best reception, make sure that the device label is facing upwards. Avoid positioning the device underneath larger metal parts. Also, avoid mounting the device on sharp objects or near sources of high heat. To prevent inaccurate reporting, secure the device using zip ties so it cannot move around. Let's see how to tidy up things before moving to the final step. Use zip ties to neatly coil any surplus cables together. Secure cabling to the vehicle using zip ties. Make sure the cables do not interfere with the driver's safe operation of the vehicle and footwells are clear. Replace any dash panels removed during installation. Now it's time to assign the Zergo device to the vehicle. Verify the installation using Reveal by searching for the device serial number that you noted earlier. If you need any help, visit our help center at install.verizonconnect.com.